Hey everyone, Scoop Science Deer. So, I'm answering another big question. This time it's going to be, how big is infinity? Um, so, basically I can't really answer this question as such. Uh, I'm going to try to use just a few paradoxes that people have tried to like kind of visualize actually how big it is. But first I want to start off by trying to uh, explain how big one million is. So, everyone hears one million a lot. It's very, it's used everywhere. Say, you go, if I gave you a million dollars, what would you do with it? Sure, you go, that's a lot of money, but how much money is it really? Um, so I'm gonna give you an example. So, if you were to try to work one million hours, and you work eight hours a day, Monday to Friday, have the weekend off, how many years would you be working for? Well. If you do the math, it equals out to be about 480.8 years of constant work, Monday to Friday, 8 hours a day, to hit 1 million hours. That's a lot longer than the average human lifespan. So there's actually quite a few human lifespans there. It's almost half a millennium. But yeah, so that's just how big a million is. Also, if you were to travel a million miles, how far would you travel? Well, you you would go to the moon and back, to the moon again and back again, and you still wouldn't quite be at a million miles. So that's still another way to show how big a million is. So now that we know how big one million is, just how big is infinity? Now a lot of people would say, I can count to infinity. Um, but really you can't actually count to infinity because it's not a number. It is considered to be pretty much everything. Now I could have an infinite amount of numbers, I could start 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And I keep going until I hit infinity, which you can't actually hit because you can always add 1. But then the thing is, once I reach an infinite amount of numbers, I can then go 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, all those numbers into it, I can get an infinite amount of them as well. So have I just doubled infinity? Well, no, because infinity is all of them. And also then again, I can go minus one, minus two, minus three. Uh, if you're catching on what I'm saying here. Um, I want to then try explaining a paradox to try to understand infinity. So it's called the infinite hotel paradox. So it's a hotel with infinite amount of floors and there's one night that the hotel is completely full. So there's an infinite amount of people in this infinite hotel. But then someone else comes along and wants to get a room that in an already full hotel. Well, you may think, sorry, you can't get any room, but remember, you can always add one. So the way people do it, I don't actually like this way. I prefer, why don't you put the other person just in the, just add one room. But basically the way other people say is you move then person who's in room number one to room number two, person in room number two to room number three, and so on. And so then you put that new person that came in room number one. But I prefer you put the new person at the end. Although you can't really say what number that is, that's why they use the first. Um, but then the hotel is then still full, it still has infinite amount, even though you added still one. And then what if an infinitely long bus came and dropped off an infinite amount of people to go into that hotel. Well, you think you can't do that. Well, what you do instead is you move person in room one to room two, person in room two to room four, person in room four to room eight. You keep doubling it. So then that opens up an exponential amount of rooms in between and still counts as infinity. Now this can also bring me to another point here. I've been meaning to make a, a video completely separately on this that I'm about to explain. Um, I still can because there's still there's a lot more that I can go into that I'm not going to go into this video, so I still might do that. But basically it's called a super task. A brilliant example of this is you get a cake and I have an infinite amount of icing that I want to put on this cake, but the cake being a finite thing it's got finite uh, volume and finite surface area, but 
if I want this infinite amount of icing to fit on the cake, what I do is I cut the cake in half, then I get one of the halves of the cake, cut that in half, and I get one of those halves and cut that in half. And I keep cutting it in half forever and ever and ever until I have finished cutting the cake in half an infinite amount of time. So, so I then so after that I then have a thing with uh, a finite volume but an infinite amount of surface area. So now I can put the infinite icing on this cake and I can fit all of it on. So that's known as a super task and one thing is you can actually complete that super task there, cutting the cake in a finite amount of time. Say I wanted to do that in one minute. Well, what I do then is um, I, uh, I wait 30 seconds to make the first cut. Then I wait 15 seconds to make the second cut. Then I wait seven and a half seconds to make the third cut. And then I keep halving the time as I'm halving the cake. And so eventually, after I think it was about 16 cuts, I'll be below one millisecond, but I'll still be cutting the cake. So I'll get to one millisecond, then half a millisecond, a quarter of a millisecond, and then eventually get into nanoseconds and much, much smaller. So, and then after that one minute is up, you would have cut the cake into an infinite amount of pieces. But the thing is, that minute is never going to be up. You're always going to be able to get, some, get that time and halve it. So that there is just two examples of just how big infinity is. Uh, Super Task is by far my favorite one, because that one you can have so many different variations of it. Um, and it can show you that you can get an infinite amount of tasks done in a finite amount of time but that also is not possible at all due to human abilities um, and with the hotel paradox um, it really goes to show just how big infinity is by the fact that even though the infinite hotel is full you can always add more and more people because with infinity you can always add one so in the description to this video, I will link um, you to some other videos um, showing, for instance, how you can count past infinity, also um, more depth about super tasks. So you should definitely check those out. They are very interesting. And now the comments down there, they are to discuss. So if you have any points to bring up, any questions to ask, then go down there, ask away, and I'll be there to discuss with you. I look forward to that. Uh, but anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.